One, two, three, four. Alimidae. Each of these four Scottsdale singles wants this lovely lady to himself. That was kind of selfish of Monte, not letting me cut in. I know what girls like. He's got player written all over him. I'm putting soft lips on her. I can tell she's waiting for me to do that. Monte's kiss was wet, very wet. He thinks he's God's gift to women. Cheese ball. Had to pull up his shirt, shows a little fat stomach. Come on now. Three get the axe, one gets the date. Monte's idea of a second date would be his bedroom. It all starts now. Alimidae. One. <laughs> My name is Tashu, and I am a corporate project manager in the city of Phoenix. Being the fitness guru or buff that I am, I love to work out outdoors and being in the sunshine all day long. My ideal guy is definitely someone who can be as carefree as I am, who just loves life and just isn't trying to be someone he's not. <laughs> I'm really excited about being here in Old Town Scottsdale. I'm really excited to meet these four guys. Hopefully one of them will bring me the sunshine. If not, bring me lots and lots of fun. Other guys don't stand a chance because, number one, they're not as gorgeous as me. And number two, they don't have the confidence that I have. My name is Rich, and I'm a retail manager at Kmart. And the benefit of dating me is because I'm going to keep them in the latest trends and the hottest styles. Hi. Hi, your name? Rich. Rich. When I first saw Rich, I thought that he was definitely very well built. Definitely could tell he worked out. I'm not afraid of these guys because I have a bigger heart than all of them put together, and I think the girl's gonna see it. My name is Jason. I work with kids for an after school program. I like to keep it real. I know how to treat a lady. Okay. How you doing? My name is Jason. Hey. How are you? Pretty good. Nice very to meet nice you. Nice to meet you, Tashu. My first impression of Jason was I thought, wow, this one has a real baby face, really adorable, and he had a nice smile to match. Wow, this girl is gorgeous. I was like, thank you, Eliminate. She is beautiful. I don't think these other guys stand a chance just because I'm so confident in myself. I know what to do, I know who I am, so I'm not even worried about them. My name's Kenny, and I own my own clothing line. Mental products, baby. Kenny, it's nice Kenny, to meet you. Very nice to meet you, Kenny. I'm Tashu. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I brought you a little shirt from a little company we're starting up. Mental wow. products. It's a little cold outside. Thought I'd bring you a long sleeve. Try to keep you warm a little bit. Thank you. Thank you. So That's perfect. I'm going to win this draw today because I'm kind of like a chocolate covered strawberry. On the outside, you see the chocolate. And on the inside, it's a strawberry. And that's all natural goodness, like me. I'm Monte. I play ball for ASU. And girls like me because I know what girls like. I know what girls want. What's your name? Monte. Monte Tashu. Tashu, OK. Yes. Whatever was going on underneath that sweater, I really wanted to know. She was, she was real cute. She had nice lips. Yeah, she was sexy. I got a little treat for you, Tasha. You do? What do you got for me? You yep. ready? I'm ready. All right. All right. Oh, my bad. Okay. It's not a good thing to force strawberries down uh, down in someone's throat on you know upon meeting them. It's never a good thing. You guys like chocolate covered strawberries? No, 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 when I saw the chocolate on her, on her teeth, I was trying to be a gentleman by wiping it off. I know if it was me, I don't want somebody to tell me, Monte, you got some mud in your mouth. I thought I would take the guys in round one to a few bars in Old Town Scottsdale, get them to loosen up and show them their true personalities. So what do you guys do? Uh, well, I run my own business. Just open like a clothing line, that kind of thing. I'm a finance manager at ASU. Okay. I'm an athlete. I play ball there. And football? Football, yeah. Football? Monte, the only ball you know is cheese ball. I'm a senior at Arizona State University, and okay. I work with kids for the city of Phoenix. That's my passion, those little kids. So. How about yourself? Retail manager. Okay. Very okay. good. Okay. Thanks. Hey. Yeah. I have, a, I have something I'd like to read for you. you got a ring for it? <laughs> no, I got something better right now. I got something that's later on. While we were at Jechu, Jason broke out a poem for me, and I thought it was absolutely spontaneous and absolutely romantic. Get some silence right now. Whenever y'all done hate, whenever y'all done hate, let me know. Whenever y'all done hate, let me know. Hey, paper, Don't worry about that. Since you can never have a second chance, let me know. Don't worry about that. Since you can never have a second chance to make a first impression, it's important that I stay on your mind. So I have to teach these other guys a very important lesson. To be a good man, 
you gotta be smart, and that's what I have. To make a good impression, you gotta show a lot of heart, and that's what I can offer you. So just something to remember. These guys are just jabbing up the mouth. It's up there, support. Anybody got some tissue? I have, I, have, I have a question though. Why is that when you read her the poem, you look at me like a whole <laughs> I'm not gonna sit here and accuse anybody of anything. I'm not gonna apply anything, but you be the judge. You read the poem to me, looking at me, staring at me, Hey, let her on parole, baby. What's up with the handcuffs? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Matei, are you a business major or a corrections officer? With the handcuffs you had on her, I couldn't tell. <laughs> you can do it all. This is Old Town. This is Old Town Scottsdale. It's definitely a Western theme around here. I hear they got a bar up the street. Very cute. There's a country band playing. Oh, my goodness. Out. When she took off the jacket, it all eyes on the stomach. Wow! My body was slamming, you know, I'll give her some credit. Okay, I'm gonna set up a scenario for you guys. It's now tomorrow morning. I'm calling one of you up on the phone to set up our second date. Where are we going, and how are you going to make it the most romantic date I've ever been on? She calls me early in the morning. Automatically, I cancel my day's plans because it's all about you. Thinking a quiet place, like a park. I'm going to the parks, long walks, and just talking about I want to get into your mind, I want you to get into my mind. I think Jason's idea of a second date would be like doing homework or something, or have her just come over and study or something like that, I don't know. We'd probably head over to like Camelback Mountain, somewhere high, you know, take advantage of, of all the feelings. You can bring a jacket? Take, take me way to the high altitude. The best thing he might be able to do for a second date is have her with the little twirlies and have blow some balloons, pop some balloons, and give her some cheese or something like that. Uh, there's this place, a real nice resort, they have like, Massage, hot body oil massage, that mud baths. I think like a day there will be like so perfect. You can go there, okay. you can get like we can get massage at the same time next to each other. I'll be here, you be here. I think uh, Monte's idea of a second date would be his bedroom because I think he looks like the type of guy that would try to get a girl back to his house as fast as he can. What do you guys think about one night stands? I can never do that because I've never known someone like that was You've blew never my mind. Had a one -night stand. Never. I've had sex with someone fast. Believe him? No. No. <laughs> I've, I've never had sex. I've, I've never had sex with someone. I've never had sex with someone one time, and never again. Okay. One time, never seen again. Never. I don't believe Monte's never had a one night stand. I mean, come on, look at the guy. He's got player written all over him. The whole thing with the one night stand thing, I'm not gonna really sit there and tell some girl that I had a one night stand. Especially when I'm trying to compete to win her. The band is playing. Now we gotta dance. Who's gonna teach me how to line dance? Let's go learn. Let's go learn. Let's go figure out. any line dancing skills and Monty had no business trying to be the teacher. No, I, I know this cat. No, I know you know. Jimmy Dean and Sarge King, I actually got him to come over to us to show us like, how we really should be doing it. Then he got on his horse and wanted to go start going buck wild. Yeah! <laughs> I think you should have let him dance, man. It was an old dude. He was just out there to have a good time. You know, she didn't mind it. Give the old man a break. Respect your elders. Dancing with Tashu was nice. Soft skin, nice body. I was enjoying myself. I think that was kind of selfish of Monte, not letting, you know, not letting me cut in like the way he did. And she treated her like a football. She's not a football. She's beautiful, man. She's a girl. There you go. Beauty can compare to you. This is the best for me, huh? Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't think so. I was like, this is enough. I already got three other guys trying to step on me. Now I got this Jimmy Dean, the sausage king, man, trying to come in and step on me and step on my toes. Coming up, who looks a shoe cut first? Well, I think I'm gonna cut, honestly. I mean, my man, Rich. I think my tail will get cut first. He did an excellent job of eliminating himself. I think little Rich is gonna get cut just because I don't think he showed enough of himself. I think Rich is gonna go first. I think number one is because of his height. The man is very, very short, and she's very, very tall. She wants a tall man like me, so bye, Rich. Eliminate. <laughs> 
Who do you think Tashu will eliminate first? Monte, Jason, Kenny, or Rich? So it's the end of round one. I have to eliminate one of you. And I'm eliminating Rich. I just didn't think that there was any chemistry going on there. She obviously made a horrible mistake in cutting me because I'm clearly the best guy. I'm the most attractive, the most charismatic. I lead in all categories. I can't be touched. I'm so glad that little Richard is out of there. You know, now I can really focus on trying to win my girl. Maybe it was the hair or something in her ears that, that she couldn't hear what I was saying, but clearly I was the best choice. In round two, I'm going to be looking for who's going to be a little bit more relaxed, even more relaxed than they were in round one, and who can be the craziest. So when we first came into the restaurant, we decided to get some drinks to get the evening going. I wanted to see how honest these guys were about romance, sex, and love. So would you say you're a verbal person in the bedroom or a silent person in the bedroom? Do you like to talk? And if you do, what do you say? I just have sex with them, and now I whisper in the air, oh, you're the most beautiful person in the world. And I tell them that kind of stuff, and I just do a little kiss on them. And I put them soft lips on her, on her lips. I can tell she's been waiting for me to do that. She was looking at me, her lips were like trembling. Monte's kiss was wet, very wet. Oh, uh, you need to cool off a little bit. Kind of, uh, kind of hot in here. My table was like, "Geez, it's hot in here. I want to take my sweater off and you know do all that kind of stuff." Come on, man. This ain't strip tease. You know, you got a lady next to you. Get to know her first before you start taking off all the clothes. Oh, you're comfy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Back, back up. Yeah. Though. Go outside a little bit. Go outside. Go outside somewhere. Go hang out in the park. Yeah. So now all the sweet talking is done. All the love making is done. What's the first thing you do afterwards? First thing you do immediately follow and get up, go to the bathroom, wash stuff off, fill the water in my head, you know what I'm saying, get the fresh body back. Yeah, I think he's in a rush to get back to the bathroom to check himself out and see what it looks like naked. I'm probably do my uh do my beat up right dance. You know what I'm saying? Do my beat up right dance. Yeah, start moving. I think females usually like to be that right dance because they get to really see what I was working with. Right. You know what I'm saying? A little dance after you wash up. Be the right dance. Be the right dance. Be the right dance. That was kind of tight. I'll give him credit. <laughs> right dance. <laughs> basically beat it right there, basically beat it right there. <laughs> basically, and a shirt burst. When Monte did the little, you know, beat it up right dance, I think that's was totally uncalled for, and I think it made him look like an idiot. I thought we were table trade if this one fall. Oh, right, yeah, great. for sure. Get your coat. Let's talk about the lovemaking skills. You guys, we all know all of you made love. Now, what would you say your type is? Like, what's your style? I like it rough. <laughs> like it rough? Like, what yes, do you mean I like, like it rough? Yeah, I, like I don't just sit there and just do one thing. I like to flip them around. I like to, you know, change them my thing. I'm very conventional, yet pretty much very spontaneous, too. Whatever the situation calls for. I felt a little uncomfortable in answering some of the sex questions, you know, because my mother is watching, and I am a gentleman, and I don't like to air my dirty laundry. For me, personally, I'm pretty well endowed. So I can't be all crazy and go all crazy. I might hurt somebody, so I can't really do it like that. So the more well endowed you are, the more gentle you have to be initially. You can't be going on crazy. So you have to like know when the right time is. Like right before orgasm, right before or me, right before orgasm, you have to then that's when you go crazy a little bit. That's when she wants you to be crazy and wants you to be hard, you know what I'm saying? Okay. So Monte says he's pretty well endowed, but I'm thinking more along the lines of somewhere around here, you know, most guys that talk about it usually don't have it. Monte said he might hurt somebody because it's so well down. The only way you're gonna hurt yourself, buddy, is if you fall down doing your little beat up right dance. Who will tissue cut next? He needs to be out of there this round because he probably needs to go home, work up some new designs for his clothing line. Tashu is gonna cut Monte just because he talks so much. He's nonstop, always about himself. In this round, I think she's gonna let, uh, she's gonna cut Kenny because Kenny's a little bit too quiet and I don't think they had any chemistry in that round at all. A limited day. Tissue going to eliminate next? Monte, Kenny, or Jason? Well, at the end of this round, I'm going to cut Monte. Because I think that you are definitely the talk, but I don't really think you're the walk. I want to know what in the world 
Come on, honestly, like, when you tell yourself okay. who I'm gonna cut, what would make you pick them over me? Like, what in the world could you possibly tell yourself they're better than me to pick them? Well, I think that they were more genuine and more sincere about their answers. I think you were a lot of talk and not enough walk. Mm, all right. Me walking Thank about you. here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> 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 She cut me. <laughs> Ooh, that's pretty funny. I can't believe she cut me, but hey, you know what I'm saying? It's a game. And honestly, I mean, she probably could tell that I wasn't really interested in the first place. I think she's God's gift to women, and I don't think too many women probably turn them down, but smart ones do, and I think Tajay made the right choice. Now that all the garbage and all the talking is done, now round three belongs to me. All her friends are gonna see her on TV, cutting me and keeping them. I mean, they're gonna ask her, like, what were you retarded? She's gonna get made fun of. She's gonna be the object of ridicule for like the next year, at least. For this next round, I'm taking the guys to Gilligan's. It's one of Scottsdale's wildest and crazy bars. I'm just gonna see who is really all about having a good time tonight, having fun, and really ending this night with a bang. Situation. That's what she raised me. That's what's most important. Well, I saw the lady come over with the roses and, you know, had to get a flower for a beautiful woman. She was just sitting there. She looked like she needed a flower, so I got it for her. I got some more words for you there. Like, this, oh, like to show you a little something. Yeah. I wasn't surprised Jason pulled out another poem. I think that's, you know, at least he's trying. Now we're on the round three. So I feel that it's the best time to show you the perfect man that I could be. A man that knows how to listen and won't ever, and ever interrupt. A man that understands how you feel, never has to ask. I'm a man that recognizes a woman's worth, and I'll never take you for granted. You pick me on this date, I promise to make all your dreams come true. I wasn't paying much attention to his poem. I was concentrating on Tashu. You guys are making this so hard. You guys are making this so hard. I mean, the rose is absolutely beautiful. I love roses. Your poem was absolutely wonderful, but I'm gonna ask for some help. I'm gonna go grab the microphone and I'm gonna ask people to ask you guys some questions for me. At the end of the night, I still couldn't make my decision, so who better to ask than the crowd in the bar? So if you guys can help me out here and throw any questions out at me so I can ask these guys and they can answer them. Yes. Favorite sexual position? I can say uh, I just have one favorite sexual position because I like them all. I like to switch through them. I don't just stay in one spot. So I can I always like to start off in the missionary position and kind of move behind, if any of you guys know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? What girl doesn't like that? That's why this guy's man enough to put your pants down right now for this woman. Joe Fox, what is that? <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> what about you? He had to pull up his shirt and, you know, try to show his little fat stomach, but uh, I think I won that round. My six-pack showed out, so that's all that matters. Will it be Kenny or Jason? Tissue's final cut is next. A limit day. I think Tissue made a mistake. She's missing out on a whole lot of fun, but hey, you know, have a good time. Jason, I chose you because I love the poems. They were very sweet, very sincere, and very romantic, and I really like that in the guy. I think his poems are gonna run out real soon, so we'll see what happens, but I don't think it's gonna work out. He's not sincere enough. <laughs> mm, I was gonna do that anyway. <laughs>